lift up my eyes. I lift up my eyes. I lift up my cry. I lift up my cry. To the hills around Jerusalem, to the God of all the earth. I lift up my eyes. I lift up my eyes. I'm Andy Cook, pastor of Shirley Hills Baptist Church in Warner Robins, Georgia. I'd like to invite you to join me on a journey to Israel in June of 2010. You know, any tour you could take to Israel, if you're thinking about going to Israel, I want to encourage you to do that. Uh, any tour you can take, even if it's one that stays on the basic path that the tourism buses all, all journey down, uh, any tour like that is the journey of a lifetime. The Bible just comes alive when you go to Israel. Now here's what's different about our tour. Um, the people of the Bible didn't have buses. They didn't have cars. They, they tended to walk everywhere. And so our tour is a little bit longer and we take a little more time in some places. And the short end of it is, if the, if the Bible story involves a desert, we walk through the desert, at least for a short ways. Uh, if it involves some camels, we take a real camel ride out there in the desert. Uh, if there's water, we get in it. If there's a mountain, we often climb it. There's a cliff, we come down it. Oh, we go to the north end of Israel and we go to Dan. I tell you, there's nothing quite like being in that place. Centuries ago, people sang songs of praise to false gods in Dan. It's a place where the downfall of Israel began. When we make that journey, when we hike the length of Dan, you know one of the things we'll do is not only hold a Bible study there, we're going to sing songs of praise to the one true God. It's an amazing experience. Or to hold a Bible study overlooking the valley of Armageddon. Or to climb Masada and understand the rich history of Israel both in the past and in the present day. There's far too much to tell you about here. But I, I tell you this, I'm excited about finding some more friends, learning some more things about Israel as we journey together. And, and just seeing what happens next. Because the journeys we've had in the past, they've been unforgettable. I've told people before that uh, unless you've been there, you won't understand this, but everybody that's been there will know that when you get there, you feel like you're at home. And when you come back, you're ready to go back home. It's, it's amazing. It's really hard to pick out one particular uh, thing that's my favorite. I, I like everything from the time the airplane sets down in Tel Aviv till we take back off a few days later. Uh, uh, it was just excitement waiting to happen and every day was full of new experiences and new places to see and it absolutely made the Bible come true and made it come alive and I took my Bible over and marked it at all the places we were so I can look back and see at what dates we were there and what things we saw and that continues to make it exciting for me. Well, that was good to have our pastor as our guide because he's been so many times and he um, knew where to take us and we bypassed all the real touristy places and got to see um, some really different places. We saw places that uh, you didn't think you would see on a typical tour. Uh, the guide was enthusiastic. We were traveling in the southern part of the country and we had been hiking all day with our tour guide and we came up on top of a hill and we're looking out over this valley. He pointed down and said, this is the valley where David killed Goliath and we're on top of the hill where Saul's army camped. And uh, the rest of the two weeks after that, it was just every day learn something new and be somewhere where something incredible had happened. And I really could talk all day about Israel by going to Israel. Now, the Bible is not just another book, but the Bible really is the living Bible, because some of the sites that we have only read about in the Bible, we were blessed to be able to go to those places. Last trip I went on, I'd had open heart surgery three months prior to going, but I went anyway. And some of the climbing I could do and some of it I couldn't, but there are options if you can't. And going with Andy's a, a, a real pleasure because he's like us, he likes to uh, uh, get out and do things and meet people and really uh, experience things other than riding around in a bus looking out the window. So, Riding uh, camels, staying in tents, yeah, uh, all that too. <laughs> so those are things we enjoy about the trip and, uh, and we've been twice with Andy and we, we would recommend that for uh, anyone. 
I've been to Israel twice now with Andy Cook, and it really is the trip of a lifetime. It is inspiring. It makes the Bible just absolutely come to life. It is an incredible trip and well worth the time. This is a little different than the, than the regular tours of Israel. This is off the beaten path. This is going places that rest of the tour groups uh, very rarely ever see. And um, it's really different, and it's really worth the trip. Uh, you're going to climb some mountains. You're going to go through tunnels. Uh, you're going to go places that, will, that the Bible talks about and that will be inspiring to you and you will never, ever forget. The details of this particular trip can be found on our website, shirleyhills.org. Now, there are going to be two brochures you'll want to download there. Uh, one is very colorful. It includes more information about this particular trip. The second one is called the Terms and Conditions brochure. That's going to have the price of this trip. It's going to have some other costs you could expect to make along the way and all the details about payment plans and insurance and all those things. Be sure to look at that, read it carefully, and then by all means, spend some time praying about this decision. Maybe we could see if God is leading us, you and me together, to journey to Israel in June of 2010. Oh, I hope so. If you're considering this trip, I hope you can make it. It's going to be a fabulous experience. Now, if you have a question that, that isn't answered on our website or in one of those two brochures, or you just would like to chat for a minute, uh, I, uh, here's what you can do. Call me on the phone or, or use email. That's a great way to contact me. I can answer those questions. If you're close to our community, feel free to stop by our church. I love I love talking about Israel. I love, I love taking people there. And we're going. We're going to have a great group. I hope you can be part of it. We'll be there in June of 2010. Come, experience Israel. Lift up my